Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in this video, we will learn about the another property that is uh, the new the fundamental concept that is props. So what is this props? So props are used to pass data from parent to child component. Okay, from parent component to the child component. That means down the component tree. So this is mainly used. Props are used to pass the data. From parent component to the child component down the component tree. So this is an essential tool to configure and customize the components like function parameters. With props, parent components control how child component should look and work. So this is also one of the thing. With props, so we will be able to know that parent component expects or control. It will control the child component how it how it should look and it should work. Anything can be passed as props. Single values, arrays, objects, functions, even other components also we can pass it, which we will try to see about that one. So these are the this is the thing which I, which I would want to discuss with you. The props are used to pass the data from the parent to child component. Any data we can pass it, like single value you can pass it, arrays, objects, anything you can pass it. So this is one thing. And the another thing which I want to discuss with you is. The props are read only, so they are read only, and they are immutable. So that means this is one of the React strict rules. So these are read only. You cannot modify the props value in the child component. So these are immutable. And if you want to mutate these props, you actually need the state. So if you want to mutate this prop, means then you need to store it in the state, and you need to do it. So this is one of the reactive React strict rule. So. <clears throat> props is the data that is coming from the outside and also can only be updated by the parent component only the props the data which will be coming from the parent means outside means it can be only updated by the parent component only the child component cannot update state is the internal data that can be updated by the components logic so if you want to update the props means you need to save it in the state and you can update the state so that is the main thing mutating the props would affect the parent creating side effects so if you want to change the props in the child component means this will create a side effects and this will also make the functional components not pure so that is also another thing components should have to be pure functions in terms of props and states so in the react also this is a rule that components have to be pure functions in terms of props and states this allows react to optimize apps avoid bugs make apps predictable so this is the reason and also another thing which i want to discuss you with the props is so props is always a one way one way data flow okay one way data flow so this is this means you can only pass to parent to child there is no mechanism to pass from child to parent okay so you may be thinking that if you are coming from angular background or anything you may be thinking that Angular has a two-way data flow from parent to child. You can pass it as a props from child to parent. You can pass it as an event emitter. So this one is not at all available in the React. Only from parent to child only you can pass the data. From child to parent you can never pass the data. So that is the main thing. This what what is this one is so why because by, from for passing child to parent it is less efficient and passing only parent to child is the more performant thing. And also, it also makes the applications easier to debug as we have more control over the data. So this is all about the props thing. So props are read only; they are used for sending parent to child. So why we need the props is the parent component. If the parent component wants to control the child component, how it looks and work means props is used. And another one is props are read only, and the props ka uh, so the React components only supports the one-way data flow. And that is nothing but parent to child. Child to parent is not at all supported. So there is another way how we can implement this one for implementing this child to parent thing. We will try to see in the upcoming videos. So just we will try to learn one by one. So this is all about the props, guys. So let's try to see about the props thing. And here in our Pizza app, if you try to see carefully, if you try to see in our project, so in our menu function, we are sending the pizza, right? For this pizza, we can send it as a props. So, for example, if I want to send the name value, so here we are having some data, right? Name, ingredients, price, and photo name. Let's try to send this one. So, I want to send for this pizza name is equal to. 
so i can send it something like uh, uh, let's say oh sorry and here i will send the value uh, let's say that we will take this value okay so which we will try to send it so where is this our menu pizza so let's copy this pizza thing and paste it near the menu yeah so that for us it will be very easy and here i will be using this uh, pizza and here i will try to paste it here and the another one is nothing but name and ingredients so we will try to send the ingredients also we are having this ingredients right so ingredients i will try to send it so we can send it like this of course we'll try to make it dynamic i want to explain you about the props thing and price we'll send the price also price is equal to and whatever the price is there 18 or anything we'll send it and the another one which is having photo name photo name also we'll send it last one photo name is equal to and the photo name we are having is this one i will try to show you and we'll paste it here so now these are the props we are trying to send it right so these props we need to capture it to here so here we can capture it using the props and here if you want to mention this one so here i can mention it something like source is equal to so here i can mention props dot photo name and here the alt should be alt should be props dot uh, what is that one uh, name i will use the name and here also it should be props dot name props dot name and here you will be able to see the title has been changed and here i will use the ingredients so that should be props dot ingredients i am using it like this and i will do the span sorry not span paragraph element i will do the paragraph element and this one also will do the paragraph element only yeah and if you want to show the price we will show it uh, something like uh, props dot price okay so we are able to show the price also here so i will design this one all i will not show the styling of this one pizza and all those things i will try to design it and this one we have did it right and we have completed the pizza thing and if you want to reuse this one so you can copy this one and you can paste it directly so this one pizza you can have it something like pizza solimo you can change that property's name here you can write it like this and the ingredients also if you want to change it you can change it also now for example let's say that for this 18 and this one is having 14 right so for example if i want to do something like for the price i will do plus 4 if i do it like this what it will happen 144 and 184 it is appending instead of adding so if you want to send the value means to the props so you, here you need to send the 18 like this now if you try to see here it will be updated to 22 instead of 184 so like this we need to send the props so i am trying to explain you clearly about these props so this is how we will be sending the props into the from parent to the child component hope you understood about this one what i will try to do is i will commit this code in a new branch video hyphen 10 okay about the props thing i am explaining you and here props data so it is very simple only just i want to explain you about this one so i have published this branch Whoever may be having a doubts in this one, so they can go to my GitHub repository URL. The link is provided in the description below. Whoever may be having a doubts, they can go to this particular repository URL. Whatever the video you are watching, you can go to that particular branch of that video and you can refer this code. Hope you understood about this props data. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.